Well, 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 if you've been following the journey of me trying to get my camera fixed, well, <laughs> my warranty coverage has been approved. I have to pay to ship it and also pay for a return label, which hopefully they, they fix it so that there's no issue. But it's going to Brooklyn, which is interesting. I'm not driving into Brooklyn, but I have people that like, I have friends that go into Brooklyn all the time. I have friends that live in Brooklyn. I wonder if like it's close to them <laughs> in any way, shape or form. At least, uh, at least we started the process of getting this camera fixed. Uh, if you missed it, my friend's dog accidentally knocked it off a table um, and the menu button's not working properly. Everything else in the camera works fine. And I have a, a second camera that I can use in the meantime, which is like, thank God. But alas, who knows? We'll see what happens. My wife and I have been in this house for about three years, actually three and a half years, and we've had actually I think two printers because both of us had a printer in college, uh, but neither of us had set, we had never set it up. I don't know if there was no ink and no issues. I don't know. We, we just ended up kept, we kept borrowing like my parents' printer or, or like printing it at like UPS on rare occasions, but we really haven't had the need for a printer. But I have to print out. <laughs> Uh, like a document for the the, the um, warranty of the camera, and I'm like, I don't I don't want to go to my parents to print it out. Like it's just it's, it's too long of a process, and I'm like, I could like send it to like the print shop down in Northport when I go to like the actual post office, but I'm like, it, it's such a process. Let me just take this out the printer and let's <laughs> so let's see if this works. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I have no I have, I have no idea if it's gonna work. Um, I don't know how to set up this printer. <laughs> <laughs> See if it's even connected. I don't even know. Ladies and gentlemen, let's test this out. <laughs> Did we get it? Did we get it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Work, work, work. Come on, baby, come on. Work. Come on. You can do it. I'm not sure what that means. Come on. Do it, do it. You got it. Come on, work, baby, work. No way. I think I got it. I think I got What? What? <laughs> well, that was a no-go. Oh well, at least we tried. All right, so I just made my list of what I want to get done today. On the list, we have songwriting, we have making new music, two separate things. Songwriting and making new music are kind of separate because making new music is kind of just sitting in the studio making music. It's supposed to songwriting. It doesn't have to be in the studio. Filming short form content, scheduling videos, reaching out for new interviews, and hopefully going to the post office with my new, <laughs> or to, to return the camera, or get the camera fixed. Let's see what ChatGPT created for this title of a podcast that I'm trying to schedule. Create a clickbait title for Jacob Restitute's More Than Music podcast on his YouTube channel between audio mixer Chris Sclafani and Jacob Restituto. Here's something like, mind-blowing, secrets revealed. Jacob Restituto goes head-to-head -head with audio mixer extraordinary script. <laughs> That's funny. It's all right. Let's see, what we, let's see what else we get. Take a listen to this. This is kind of scary, actually. So while ChatGPT just made the, the title for the interview, which is titled From Ed Sheeran to Benny Blanco, audio mixer Chris Sclafani reveals his next moves in music. So then I just took that and said, okay, create a YouTube thumbnail for Jacob Restituto's YouTube channel with an interview titled that. And it says, as an AI text-based model, I'm unable to create visual content like YouTube thumbnails directly. However, I can describe a thumbnail concept for you. Listen to this, this is insane. ChatGPT said, thumbnail description. The thumbnail features a captivating image of audio mixer Chris Scofani with a backdrop of famous artists like Ed Sheeran and Benny Blanco. Chris is shown in the foreground wearing headphones holding a mixing board, <laughs> radiating the aura of expertise and excitement. The title, From Ed Sheeran and Benny Blanco, an audio mixer Chris Scofani reveals his next move in the music industry is prominently displayed in bold, eye-catching text. Vibrant colors and dynamic design elements convey the energy and significance of the interview. Remember to consider design pr principles such as using high-quality images, legible text, and compelling visuals to create an engaging and appealing thumbnail for Jacob Prestituto's YouTube channel. How insane is that? So check out lunch for today. It's a kale and radish salad straight directly from the garden, picked 10 minutes ago. We got chicken from the farm. So I'm sad to say, I think that you are witnessing a piece of history right here. And I went into my favorite coffee shop and asked for decaf coffee. They said they didn't have any. Now, this is the second time that they didn't have any uh, this week because I was there on Saturday when I went to the farmer's market, they didn't have any as well. So I, I'm start, I can't remember, I haven't been there in a while, so I can't remember if they never have any or they just haven't, they, they ran out. But both times, this time and last time, they're like, they were like, we can make like a decaf 
latte or decaf americano. I'm like, okay, an americano is fine. What that is is it would essentially be a decaf espresso with uh, hot water to fill it up. But then they charged me for an americano, which okay, it was one thing. I guess I got an americano if they don't have, but it was four dollars and seventy two cents. So for two coffees that I got Saturday and today, that's nine dollars and fifty cents in coffee. I could literally buy a bag of coffee for that. that. Like, I just, I can't justify it anymore. It's insane.